Okay, today we're going to be calibrating the transmission on a Case IH uh, MX tractor. First thing you want to do is press and hold the program button with the key off. I don't know if I can do this without dropping my phone. And then turn the key on and I'll come back and show you that process. Okay, there's our configuration menu. And we're going to move down to transmission. Hit the program switch. And then we're going to go into trans setup. Now I have to do this with the engine running, but I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Okay, then we want transmission setup. And we want to calibrate the clutch. And it'll give you the oil temperature, which I think 59 is a little cold, but let's see. Yeah, low oil temperature. So what we need to do is warm it up a little. And I've got a flow meter in one of the remote valves restricted to flow just to warm the oil. Okay, we'll come back when the oil's warmed up. Okay, now that we've got our oil to 60 degrees, we're going to hit the program button again. And as long as the little asterisk is next to the engine symbol, we're in the right RPM range, so we'll hit program again. Then it's asking me to shift the transmission to forward. So we'll move the lever into forward speed and it'll begin to calibrate the odd clutch as soon as I press program. What it's reading is the amount of current that it takes the solenoid to open to reach the desired fill time. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but it's engaging and disengaging the clutch. And so now it's decided that 174 milliamps is how much current it takes to open that solenoid valve enough to, that's where the calibration point is. And you can tell it's done because the little asterisk is next to the odd symbol. So now we'll press program again, and then we'll tell it yes to do the even clutch and it'll continue on with that process. Even is done now. So we'll move on to C1 and hit program again. And each one of the clutch packs will do this until you've gone all the way through all of the clutch packs that are programmed in this area of the menu. And when it's done, it'll ask you if you want to exit, and you can just complete the process then. I'm not going to video each and every one of these clutch packs because it's a kind of a long process, but you get the idea. Okay, once you're all done calibrating uh, clutch packs, it'll come up and tell you to exit calibration. Push program. Shift the tractor back to park. And exit the calibration.